All right, it is plant week here at Realtree Farms. I just pulled up here this morning. Roger and Wes are over planting at what we call the 15 acre field. So it is uh, finally dried up enough to get some planting done. Got a bunch of eagle seed soybeans going in the ground. It's extremely hot this week. It's gonna be like upper 90s later on in the week, but finally dry enough to plant. So what we got going on today, we're gonna to go over there, see what they got going on, see if they need some help. I'm fixing to load this flatbed up and go over there. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna show a turkey hunt that Tyler and I had the last week of the season. So what we got here on Realtree Farms is we got kind of what we call the main farm here. And uh, it's where most of the turkey hunting goes on. It's got some good deer hunting too, but this is where Bill really likes to kind of mold this place around turkey hunting. And so on the other tract of Realtree Farms, we don't turkey hunt as much, but because we manage the deer, it does have some turkeys. It had some pretty good turkey numbers on it this year. So Tyler actually shot all three of his Georgia turkeys over on that other farm. And so the last week of the season, we just had an awesome hunt where this bird was screaming and uh, this turkey was coming in, strutting, gobbling in a real pretty burned area. So just a, a hunt that you don't typically get a lot of times in the late season, but those birds hadn't been messed with very much. And so he just worked in perfect, but I'll show that at the end of this video. But right now, we gotta go get some planting done. So we'll go over there, <clears throat> see what those guys got going on. What you got going on over here? Man, trying to get these soybeans in this field. Got about 10 acres of this Roundup Ready beans we're putting in this field. And uh, got no first products drill running and uh, doing a good job so far. So uh, makes life easy when everything's going right. Well, I brought you some more seeds so you ain't got to quit working. Good, good. <laughs> I don't want to stop, man. So what we got going on here? We this is the 15 acre field i was talking about a little while ago yeah uh it's 15 acre it's i've got the back half or portion of it back there i've got about five acres of uh chufa i planted in the very back back there in that little neck and then uh this bit the 10 acre part here i'm putting soybeans in so give them there something to munch on give them a little protein we've had some good turkey hunts back there in that corner yeah, oh yeah, they love that chufa back there in that corner. Golly, how close was he to you? Like five feet? Five feet, maybe. Yeah. I did some python purrs, and that's when he, I, I think he, he heard finally, that. He finally broke. tripped his trigger. The, the neat thing about this first product uh, drill is, right here, this this hydraulic, so this cylinder here, it ain't hydraulic, it's electric. Cylinder here uh, operates the plates, and so what they do, they overlap in there. And so you, you set it up, to the width I got it set for soybeans now so it 
it'll open up and just let the beans drop and it's got an agitator inside there too that agitates the seed so if you got a mixture of seed or it'll keep it from segregating and it'll also keep your seed spread out in that box right there so you got a uniform amount of seed dropping in the hole each time these right here this is your small seed box and this is the big one so you you open it up it's got charts on it and uh you open it up to get it like right now it's set on four and uh so with with my speed running about 4.2 then i'm putting trying putting 60 pounds of beans out to the acre here I'm going to do a little mixture on this field here if I got some standard glyphosate tolerant soybeans and uh, also I got five bags of eagle seed beans which are uh, forage type soybean. I just wanted to put, I'm going to put some of each in this field and kind of separate out and just going to do a little experiment on it this year. Alright, we're good for a while now. Man, it's a pretty good size field here. It's bigger than I'm used to planting anyway, but uh, we got some pretty good size ones. And with these Sun South tractors, they've made life so much easier, man. You, you, it, there's been uh, maintenance free totally, really. I mean, we have not had a bit of problems out of them. And uh, it just makes all work go a whole lot better when you got the equipment you can depend on. Walk. There's another night goblin right here. I know when we. I was here. It's still get, early. It is, but I feel like it's still should be maybe some goblin right now. I know there's. I know there's at least two that have been kind of a little further back down this road to the right, but I still feel like we should hear them from here. that time they're not that far. They're coming. You think they'll come down the road? Probably.
<laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh! I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that was the same turkey. We, Brian and I were at the top. So, so, so talk about it, because we had to set up so quick, so we didn't really get to. So Brian and I were, 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 you know, out hooping this morning, and this is. Uh, this a, is your. This is your last. This last, is last deal. This is my last hunt of the year. I get married in three days. I get married in two days. And, uh, you know, Daniel and I, we were probably 100 yards from here early in the season, came in here and, and shot a turkey down this same road. But, you know, we came in here this morning and there's been a lot of birds in this spot and we, we think we heard one way, way off. And we came down here and, <clears throat> you know, just were patient. I mean, just kind of sat here and listened for about 30 minutes. And I think the first time we heard him, I think Brian and I both heard him, but he only gobbled on the limb maybe three times, but he was far. He was a good way, he was barely here. And so we said, man, instead of just like pushing out in there on him, we know he's right there. Let's just sit here and be patient and listen, see if he doesn't get going. And finally, he just fired up yeah. and we just sat down. I mean, we, from where we were listening, we just 10 yards set up and then we just went quiet on him. You know, he, he was gobbling on his own good, and he came in looking. And finally, I, I'm sure you got it on camera. He oh, looked yeah. up and saw that decoy, and was he was coming. Yeah, that was it. Oh, yeah, these spurs right here. I bet this is a older turkey. Oh, golly. I mean, I'm telling you, I bet he's only. That's that's um, that's Bigfoot. It's 18. Gotta be. It's got to be. Look at that. That's got to be the same one. There's one, we saw some tracks coming down this road and there was one, just one big middle finger. Yeah. And that's gotta be him. His tracks were up next to a hen and it was like a night monster. and day difference. And I think that's him, that's him. I gotta think be. it is. Yeah. Old Bigfoot's down. He gobbled down. like it was him. Bigfoot's down. Man, I hate it for my little, my little brother is gonna be hopefully happy for me, but <laughs> he was supposed to come with me this morning. And I, you know, I really wanted him to come cause I, Felt like we had just a good chance. This place has hardly been hunted at all this year, but tagged out two days before my wedding. Appreciate you coming with me.